What's up guys, it's your boy Red Cloud. Today I'm gonna to be showing you two simple ways on how to install add-ons for World of Warcraft The War Within. This is also gonna apply for Classic and any other form of World of Warcraft that is currently available. You can also do this for multiple games like Minecraft and any other games, but today we're gonna to be talking only about World of Warcraft. Before we go further, I do wanna let you know I stream every day on Twitch. The link will be in the description below for my Twitch stream. I would seriously appreciate it if you would go over there use your prime sub or give me a follow. And lastly, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and also share this video with anybody that may benefit from watching it. All right, so we're gonna be focusing on World of Warcraft add-ons. Add-ons, of course, change the way the game pretty much plays. It can modify the way you interface with the auction house, with mobs, your font in-game, the UI interface, a whole bunch of different things. So if you're new to the game, it's gonna be a lot to go through at first. These are some of the most popular add-ons in the entire game currently. Go to view all here. The website that we're on, by the way, is called CurseForge, and this is where we're going to be mainly focusing our efforts today. So there's two ways that you can download add-ons and install them onto your computer and onto your World of Warcraft client. The one is getting the CurseForge app. Okay, so you can download the standalone version, which is what I suggest. This is what the standalone version looks like right here. What it does is it will only install the CurseForge installer and then it will give you all of the options of going into, you know, browsing for additional add-ons here. Uh, it'll sort it by the most popular add-ons and then you can go ahead and install. So literally, for example, install and then go to my add-ons and then it'll be right here. And so every day, most likely some add-ons do need to be updated because every patch essentially does have new information that add-ons need to update for, or there's just like bug fixes in add-ons. So having CurseForge up before you play WoW is a really nice thing to do, especially if you are installing add-ons for the first time. Without getting too much into that, the options that you can go into are pretty simple you can reinstall install settings uh, you can also report a bug view the add-on website browse the folder in which it's installed which we'll get into later and then you can also delete settings and then delete add-on so for this one i'm going to delete that and that's it that's how you install add-ons onto the curse forge client like i said i would suggest downloading the standalone version not the Overwolf version, because then that will install Overwolf onto your computer. And Chris Forge, I believe, is owned by Overwolf. So if you are downloading this, you have to agree to the privacy policy that Chris Forge and Overwolf have. So keep that in mind if you do decide to download the standalone version. All right, so this is the second version of how to install add-ons onto your computer. So pretty much what we're gonna do, let's say, for example, we wanna download, uh, let's see. You're a really good add-on rare scanner, right? So rare scanner, instead of installing it on CurseForge client, we can download the actual file itself. And then when you download it, it will let you have it open up right here, right? It's gonna be a zip file. So once you've downloaded and found the actual zip file that you're looking for, for rare uh, scanner, for example, or whatever add-on that is that you downloaded, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be finding the directory where add-ons are installed in World of Warcraft. All right, and I'll show you guys that path right now. So it's going to be extract all. This is the first thing that you're going to do. This will extract whatever's inside the folder of the add-on that you just downloaded. And then what we're going to do is go to browse. Then we're going to go to our Windows file. And then we're going to go to program files 86. Then we're going to scroll down, find World of Warcraft. Now, for retail, you're going to go to retail. For classic and any other classic forms of WoW, you're going to go to those folders. It's going to be the same thing, by the way. So, retail, interface, add-ons, and then select folder. This is all of the add-ons that I have installed on my computer onto World of Warcraft. And then we're going to go ahead and hit select folder. It's going to install it. Once you hit extract here, and then it's going to go ahead and extract into the add-ons folder. 
Now, once you've extracted it into the add-ons folder, it should open up there. And what we're going to do, we're going to open up World of Warcraft. And then we're going to type flash reload. What it does, it will reload World of Warcraft for you. So we're going to type slash reload. Going to open up this screen where it's loading back up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to press our escape button and then go to add-ons. And then this is a simple add-on manager. You do not need this add-on at all. Uh, essentially what will happen, rare scanner will be here. And then it's going to be enabled by default when you click it. So what I'll show you guys real quick is how it looks like when you don't have this add-on manager that I have. Um, and then it'll show it right here. So rare scanner on. And then what you want to do if, for example, like the add-on has not been updated recently, but it still works, you want to go ahead and tick load out of date add-ons. But if you do tick this, for example, if the add-on that you have does, for example, cause issues with the game, you may receive some bug errors. Okay, so keep that in mind. But generally speaking, loading out of date add-ons is usually a good idea if there's been a new patch and the add-on has not been immediately updated. I do wanna let you guys know it's the same thing for Curse Forge. And for example, here we just got an update for Hakili, which is great. And then the other thing, when you have something manually installed, Curse Forge is not going to be able to see Rare Scanner, for example. It's not gonna show up here. So you will have to go and manually delete the add-on from that folder. You will have to go into the folder that you just went to, like add-ons, and you'll have to go ahead and find the add-on itself. A rare scanner right here. Delete. And then once you delete it, you're going to have to go and also reload on WoW. And then once you reload, it will be deleted. So it's the same thing for CurseForge. If you want to install something on here, you need to go ahead and install it and then reload and it will show up on to World of Warcraft. Well, all right, guys, I hope that I kept that simple enough for you guys to learn how to actually install World of Warcraft add-ons through Curse Forge and through downloading the actual add-on file. It also works that way for Classic, Classic Era, and also for Retail World of Warcraft. If this video helped you at any given point in time, be sure to like the video, subscribe for more content like this, and share this with anybody that may benefit from watching this video. Be sure to check out my stream every day. I am live on Twitch. Be sure to check it out in the description below. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.